Man, the fails in this chapter of One Piece, chapter 844, was intense. And I mean very emotional. Without further ado, let's crack down to the full review of chapter 844 of One Piece. Hit the intro! The German 66 was shocked and surprised about the immense power that Sanji can make from his feet with the Devil Jumbo. And the amount of hitting that Sanji t Luffy took from Sanji. Because Luffy, and I said this in chapter, I think chapter, in my review of chapter 843 and I think in 842 as well. That Luffy was not going to buy anything that's going to be spewing out of Sanji's mouth. Because he knows, he has a strong feeling that... He's going to be saying something fake and forced because something ha make, is making him say these words. And this is what is happening here with Sanji. And I mean exactly. Sanji just hitting Luffy back and forth with his attack and Luffy's not doing anything. He's just there letting him take the hits. And then we get Nami just slapping Sanji and apologizing, saying, Oh, I'm sorry, your highness. And everything. Because she had enough of what Sanji did. And then Luffy goes up and saying that he, that he has never heard anything so faked and f forced being said from Sanji. And we knew when he closed his eyes and started crying when had his hands over his eyes he knew Luffy was, would be still there he knew he would be continuing waiting for him the thing that Jaji said in this chapter saying that is this how you're going to sever your ties it was really harsh in the way he said it did feel harsh but knowing he doesn't know Luffy like Sanji does and the fact that Luffy went on to saying that he'll be waiting at that spot for Sanji to come back and saying that he has the best cook, we have the best cook in the world and I cannot become Pirate King without your cooking. I, I will starve myself to, to death. I will not take anybody else's food because your food is the best and and you're part of my crew. You are one of my friends, my crewmates, because your cooking is the best, pretty much. Now, I will say this. This arc, this chapter, does show how much, shows again how much Luffy loves and cherishes his comrades, his nakama, his, his crewmates, his friends. In of the straw hats. This just shows how much he he loves them and how much he will go through. the fact that he took all the hits of Devil Jumbo Jumbo and and still manages to stand and told Sanji that he hasn't heard anything so fake and forced in his life from him. Meaning that he knew Pretty much something's wrong with Sanji that he had to say those words so that and there, so Luffy's going to be coming up with a plan. Even though he says he's going, he's going to be staying right, he's going to be coming up with a plan. He knows Sanji will have to figure out a way to get get rid of all because he knows Sanji. Sanji will be coming up with a plan to get away from the Germa, making sure that all the ties from with Zef, Zef is all is away and everything. And it will come down to either pudding saying no to the marriage. Because she knows how much Sanji wants to be with his comrades. Or the Vivria card that Nami has comes into play here. And I've said it countless times again and again that the Vivria card that was given to her by Lola back in Thrilla Bar is going to be the turning stone, the turning key point in this arc. Where, where we know Big Mom loves her family. Even if Lola's out of the pirating or whatever... She is still part of Big Mom's crew. She is, she is the daughter of Big Mom, and we know Big Mom is like Whitebeard and and cherishes her crew members like family. 
We know this. As much as I want to not believe that she's just a female white beard, it's it really is true how much she cherishes her her family, her children, just similar to Makarov in Fairy Tale and Whitebeard in the same manga series. Makarov is from Fairy Tale and Whitebeard is from One Piece. You you understand where I'm going with this. So once she hears that Luffy Luffy and the Straw Hat saved her daughter and her crew, she would probably do a re return and allow them to have one request. And if that request is to have Sanji to re return back to the Straw Hat and have no wedding, then she will probably allow that. And if uh, the German 66 is against that request, then Big Mom could end up turning on the German and attacking the German as well. But there's also the key point, there's also another key factor that I want to point out here as well, is that Big Mom might not even care about Lola anymore. Maybe Lola escaped without Big Mom's blessing. But saying that, there's a lot of in incidents saying that Lola, that Big Mom does care about Lola, and I think Lola mentions it back in Thriller Bark. But w other than that, we don't know for sure. But this just shows how much, how much the key thing of the Vivrio card of Big Mom is that Nami has hold of. This is the turning point. This is the factor. This is the key factor here that Big Mom will learn, learn that. The Straw Hat saved her daughter Lola. This is the key bit of information. Once she learns that, that is going to be some huge t twist. Other than that, like I've always mentioned in this arc, it has has and always felt like Water Seven Dash Enos Lobby, and it still does. But there are some there's major differences. But th there's a lot of hardness back to to th Enos Lobby and Water Seven in this arc, and you can actually feel it. Other than this, I really enjoyed Chapter 844 of One Piece. It really does show the emotions, the love that Luffy has, and Oda kept on bringing it to the table and giving us the plate, the, the plate of our dinner, of what we are getting served for each chapter within this arc. It just shows how much he is caring for this character. It just shows how much he's put an emphasis in Sanji's spat story. And this arc is just showing more of Oda's creativity as well. Other than that, comment down below what you liked and didn't like about this chapter. Get these discussions. I mean, what what do you think is going to happen now in chapter four, eight, four, five, five? Other than that, comment it down below. And I'll see you next time. I've been your host, Kai from Kaiser Take Corner, member of the Double O Club, and I'll see you next time. See ya. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed this week's review of One Piece chapter eight, four, four. I did enjoy recording it, I did enjoy reading the chapter as well. But like always, if I remember to do so, you can hit that I at any point during this video and you can check out the last three chapters. Chapters reviews that I've posted on One Piece. Also, you can check out the playlist as well. At the same time, you can also check out my Facebook fan page where you can find that down in the video description down below with the link to it. Now, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can also find that link down in the video description. Now, if you've got that Anime Amino app, I don't go on it much, but you can find me there by just searching Kaizo Take a Corner. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and you can subscribe and hit that bell to keep notified on whenever my next future videos are coming up next. And if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up as well. But I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. See ya.